So, innovation comes to when uh, a new idea comes out. Um, and people are saying that innovation, people don't. But when you will, innovation, do people really want new things? Game Theory only made one about video games. But when it comes to film, people say they miss the 80s because of all the creative new ideas that were coming around and being successful. There are new ideas becoming successful, but all these movies, these original movies that come out, they just don't sell. They just don't sell. We'll be going over the last few years and going over why. Creative new ideas, no adaptations will be put in the year because adaptations of a manga, anime, um, comic book, and MCU. Um, so let's go over the first example. What is the highest grossing original movie? Oh, wait, that's Avatar. But let's look at more of the first example Booksmart. Booksmart, okay, let's just go around tomatoes. Let's see what Booksmart got. Some movies are basically critic proof, but if you look at Booksmart. Okay, what's Booksmart? Uh, it's 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 new in streaming. Um Hush was coming out this week too and I think oh yeah, Booksmart. So Booksmart came out, um <laughs> you, you, you assume this movie got critical plays. Of course you wouldn't care for it as much. Ninety seven percent of critics liked it. Um but, let's look at the month, uh, so it came out in May, um, what were the highest grossing movies of that month? Aladdin, John Wick Chapter 3, Detective Pikachu, and Godzilla King of the Monsters. All of them, besides Detective Pikachu, which is based off a video game with the exact same name, that came out a year earlier that didn't sell at all because it came out only on the 3DS, there was no Switch version, and all the rest of the movies are sequels or remakes, okay? People don't want an invasion. John Wick is a new franchise, but Aladdin is a remake of a 90s movie. And what was Booksmart on this list? Only at number 10, being outsold by The Hustle, a remake of a remake. Yes, Booksmart was outsold by a remake, a all female remake of a remake. Yes. Or how about we have more original ideas like Palm and Bright Bun just complete outright bombing? <laughs> or it's not doing well of fears at all, but to, to be fair, those movies did get bad reviews by critics. But we'll, we'll look at April, the month before. All the original movies. Like Us, Michael makes many original movies, like Missing Link, came out, what was the highest grossing movie of the month? Okay, and this is how much Missing Link made. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is, uh, yeah, this is how the world is now. People don't care about innovation. Riker is one of the most innovative companies in movies. They make groundbreaking stop motion movies, but yet... People just chose superheroes instead because you know, or oh, look at Mars. Mars is a much more different example because us did well, but look at this. Look at the more original movies that have come out of Power Eleven, Hotel Mumbai, which are based off of true stories, but they are original takes on these stories. Yet, Captain Marvel made the most amount of money in this month. Or let's go to February. Um, again, there are many more. There's a movie that got a critical praise. Fire of My Family, Happy Death. Oh, that that, that that's not a original movie. Or Cold Pursuit, which got praise from fans. What were the highest grossing movies of that month? Oh, that's more. It's sequels to kids' movies. But oh wait, that's been me. Wait, that's been rude because you know these are and. And no other movie really came close to How to Train a Dragon this month. That month. And the most popular movie of the month, Arita Battle Angel, which, they, which made the second most model movie worldwide, money worldwide, was only at number 3, Domestically. And who got the year, it's not even the top 20. Being beaten by... Or oh, was this go to July? 
This is easily the E. All of these movies are original movies that people loved. That critics praised and gave good reviews. What was the highest grossing movie of the month? The Lion King remake. Mind you, both Aladdin and the Lion King remake got subpower 60s, got subpower reviews. Both of these movies got subpower reviews by critics, okay? Not by fans, but by critics. Both of these movies were swam for being unoriginal and being ununique. But they're the high but these movies that the critics pop up made less money than the Lion King remake. Or you can just go to the box office of 2018 for an example here. All of the 2018 was praised for many, many movies. Spider-Man the Spider-Verse, Quiet Place, and Crazy Wits Asians all got great reviews by critics. But what was the highest grossing movie of the movies of the year? Black Panther, Infinity War, Incredibles 2, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, and Aquaman. Four out of five are superhero movies. Four out of five highest grossing movies of that year were all superhero movies. All sequels and bigger franchises. Spider-Man and Spider-Verse, despite being a superhero movie, tried something different, and it paid the price. Fans did bring out this movie, but if fans didn't really care for this movie, this movie would be lost in time with other forgotten movies like The Equalizer 2, A Wrinkle in Time, and Rampage. That's how poorly Spider-Verse would have done. Heck, Dark Phoenix had a, had a similar, had a same, the same opening at, of Spider-Verse. That's how poorly that movie did at the box office on its first week. And, don't forget, A Quiet Place also did pretty well, but they didn't even crack the top 15. Why do the top 10, which most of the movies were superhero movies? The only original movie that wasn't an adaptation of an old story like The Grinch or a sequel or a superhero movie was Bohemian Rhapsody. Yes, that was the only original movie in the top 10. Star Wars Born is a remake. That had been of a remake that made was remade like three or four times, and it was a remake. So, and in the top 15, let's count Spider Verse as an original movie, even though it is a Spider Man movie. Spider Verse did try to do something different. So, and what's the start first entries in the series? So, starting new franchises, Aquaman is part of the DCU, so it doesn't count. The top 15. Spider-Man and Spider-Verse, Venom are the only two new franchise starters. Venom is the start of a of the Venom series, which they're making a sequel to. And Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse is a new take on Spider-Man. Yet the highest grossing movies are more of the same. Or we go back to the previous year. What do we see here? Oh, more sequels. Topping. All the innovative movies, all the movies that tried something new, Get Out, Dunkirk, movies praised for the innovative qualities, and especially Coco. Or, but oh, those are bro movies. What, uh, the, uh, but what to see the buying habits of the, but, but now we see the buying habits of the, the movie critic reviews. The, People who praise movies like Pulp Fiction and The Godfather as the greatest movies are part to those one guy to say Infinity War is the greatest movie of all time. What separates us popcorn buyers to the actual movie critics? Well, Pixar's crit but but let's look at the best selling Pixar movies in order worldwide. You see something here? The same buying habits of these people, the top Four out of the five highest grossing Pixar movies are all sequels. All sequels. Pixar is the paragon of innovation in the movie industry, especially the animation history. The more greater movies that people praise, Up, Incredibles, and Ratatouille, and Ratatouille is not even in the top ten. Cows 2 is, was the and of course, Toy Story 4, the pet, the hit, 
was the Toy Story series is now considered was Toy Story and is now considered an evil competitor of it was It's like an antichrist of innovation. Look at these. Look at these movies. You see the sequels on top. And these are the buying habits of the people who create, who are the ones who praise Pulp Fiction and Up and... But then, the buying habits of these people are the same as everybody else. You see the Pixar sequels on top. But you see all the original movies, Toy Story, A Bug's Life, and... Wally near the bottom. The only one that is at the absolute bottom is the good dinosaur. Toy Story of Bugs Life and Wally are considered the best Pixar movies. Yet, the highest goals in Pixar movies are all sequels, besides Finding Nemo. Which probably did well because people were fists and socks and, you know, everybody loves fists and socks. But, or we just go over the highest goals in movies of all time. People say that Disney is a paragon of innovation, but you look at the highest grossing movies of all time. What is Disney's highest grossing movie? Well, it's the it's a remake of The Lion King. It used to be Frozen, but no longer anymore. Now it's a remake of a 20 year old movie. So, what separates the buying habit of these people? And this and these are the same people who created praise Disney for the innovation. Um look at the look at the highest grossing Disney movies. Oh well, the highest grossing movies made by Disney. The the remakes are the highest grossing movies. The remakes. Yes. Highest grossing Disney movies. Arranged in order. That are not Avengers or anything. Number one is the Lion King. Powered by, of course, Frozen, and then Beauty and the Beast, the remake. All, all, almost all of Disney's billion dollar movies besides Zootopia and, of course, Frozen were the only, are all remakes and sequels, and were actually in Pixar movies. Are all remakes and sequels. I don't really see any sequels here. Or, the or the most hated franchise in terms of innovation. Most uh, most hate if people quit people give crap on illumination all the time. But look at the highest grossing animated movies, for example. Domestically. You can see here people create animated movies all the time. But look at these. Highest grossing animated movies are all sequels. Of course, Shrek was actually praised for being innovative and for being a Shrek movie. But if you look at the highest grossing animated movies year by year, or worldwide, Minions, or you look at the highest grossing animated movies, for example. Made movies not adjusted for inflation, you can see the buying habits of people who praise Disney and animated movies for being innovative. Look at the top 10 here. The top 10, besides Zootopia and Frozen, are all sequels or franchise films. And of course, the Minions franchise are hate, people hate for not being innovative, holds three of the 10 spots. Three of the ten spots. Many of the Despicable Ryan King, the original movie, is not even in the top ten anymore. But guess what is? The Minions franchise. Minions, Despicable Me 3, and, and Despicable Me 2. The only original things in the top ten are Frozen and Zootopia. Yes, these are the only original movies in the top ten. And and Zootopia wouldn't even be in the top ten if it fa if it didn't fail and if it did if it didn't do well in China, which means it would be near sales similar to Madagascar Free and Shrek Forever After if it didn't do too well in China, or similar to Coco, which also did well in China. Because if Coco didn't do well in China, it would be down towards Wally. So everywhere you look, even the more critical, or even let's look at the highest grossing movies year by year, people 
the people on the internet, like Odin and other people, com complain that Hollywood is running out of ideas and feeding people the same crap, but people still go out and buy them anyways. People will still go buy remakes of Star Wars. As much as pe people praise movies like Books by Pulp Fiction, The Godfather, The Dark Knight, which actually didn't make a billion dollars, um, actually one of the first movies, and if you look at the top 10 movies worldwide, you can start to see a painted picture. People only care about the same movie, the same cookie cutter sequels. As much as I complain about the Fast and the Furious movies, they still continue to sell. People still continue to buy them. People, despite them being the same movie every single time. Or look at Star Wars. The highest grossing Star Wars movies are the new ones. Of course, if you're just for a face, and it's the old ones. But everywhere you look, innovation, people do not care. Look at the highest grossing movies year by year since 2010. A picture is painted. The only movie that did well. Or let's just look at the 2019 highest grossing movies. AVS crew Nissa and The Wandering Earth, because they really only came out in China. Look at the top 10 highest grossing movies Pets 2, Detective Pikachu, How to Train, the only no original movie even came close. In the top 10. If you exclude Nessa and the one read off with the original movies, but the only made for Chinese audiences, so we gotta exclude them and only go over the domestic gross. Percentage gross. You can really see the picture here. Or, no, that's including Hollywood movies alone because Chinese movies are actually trying to innovate. Look at this the same superhero movies, the same sequels and remakes, and that people dread so much. Despite people dreading the Fast and Furious and the Disney remakes, they still continue to do well regardless of people complaining on the internet. Same thing with superhero movies. People say that superhero movies are dying, but yet they still continue to do well. And Marvel had the first year for since forever to have three movies in the same franchise gross one billion dollars. And people say superhero movies are dying. When movies that are praised for being new and unique like Alita being a praised for being despite being a comic book uh adaptation or us with Barry and Once Upon a Time Hollywood, Barry made the top ten. And all we really have to do is compare. Look at the War of the Wings franchise. One of the most popular franchises is still crushed, cannot beat Endgame's worldwide total if you exclude the Hobbit movies. Still cannot beat Endgame, or barely beats Endgame and total gross. It seems that people just want to see the same things. And what separates the, the real movie fans from the popcorn movie fans. Maybe we'll be in a second part. Yes, a second part. Analyzing even more why movie audiences are rejecting innovation. And who else is to blame? The movie going audience themselves. The popcorn audience. They don't care about innovation. Let's look at, let's look at the weekend of Aladdin. Let's see here. Look at what movie came out. Booksmart and Brightburn. Those movies will likely be forgotten. But yet, Aladdin does completely destroy them. Goodbye.